Hey guys, welcome back to Galley Gourmet with me, Che. Today, we're making grouper sandwiches, but not just any type of grouper sandwich. We're making sliders, and it's gonna be three different types of sliders. So I really wanna get started, and I'll explain everything as we get along. So here we go. I'm gonna start with my coleslaw, because I wanna put the dressing in here and let everyone get to know each other and kind of soften the vegetables up a little bit. And this is how easy it is. I have a bag of just shredded cabbage, carrots, and in this, I'm going to just add some dressing. I like the Marie's dressing in here. I don't have to do too much to it. So we're just gonna pour that right in here. I'm gonna add some pepper and I'm gonna give that a stir and that's gonna be it. That's just that simple. Okay, now we're gonna pop this in the refrigerator. Now that's in the refrigerator, let's talk grouper. I've got some beautiful filet here. And what I wanna do is since we're making sliders, I'm gonna cut these filets in half. Give them a good size here. Some of them are a little off. And once I get to that, I'll figure out how I wanna cut them. Like this guy. So I think I might just do it like this. Go at an angle. This idea for the grouper sliders actually come from a local restaurant that has been around for quite some time. They've got quite a few restaurants and they're very well known for their grouper sandwiches. So I decided to take after that and do sliders because there's three very yummy grouper sandwiches that I love. One is the original grouper. Then there's the Reuben, which is done on a rye piece of bread. And then there's the buffalo. Well, instead of doing rye bread, I'm doing uh, pretzel buns, which gives it a little bit of a twist. I love, I love you so much. You remind me a lot of me. Okay, now that I have that cut up, we're gonna start with our dredge. So in this bowl, I'm just gonna add some flour because we're gonna dip the fish into the flour first. So I probably have about a cup or so of flour in that bowl. And then in this bowl, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna start with a cup, about a fourth of a cup of flour. So that's about a cup. And we'll just try this. Sometimes you just gotta play with this batter. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You have to add a little more flour or you might have to add a little more beer or whatever your flavors are. To this flour, I'm gonna add probably about three tablespoons of my favorite seasoning. Okay, we're gonna give this a little whisk. Now to this, I'm going to add a bottle of beer. Kind of give it a little whisk as we're going. All right, looking at this, I can already tell I'm gonna have to probably add a little more flour to this. You don't want a loose batter. You want kind of a thicker batter. We're gonna add a little more flour. All right, so I think we actually end up with a cup and a half of flour. We're getting right where I want it. So again, just have to play with it get your thickness just right. So I've got my oil preheated to 350 right now. And what I wanna do is I want to season the fish. So we're just gonna do some, some salt and some pepper on here. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fish, we're gonna put it in the flour, just kinda of give it a light dusting. Get the sides, the sides, tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it, and right in there. We're gonna do another one, and we're gonna get the sides. And the sides. Tap, 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 tap. In the pool it goes. Let's drown these guys. Yeah, this is the perfect consistency. This is what you want right there. Now we just want to take it and just let it simmer, 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 and then drop away from you. Here we go with the next one. Simmer, 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 drown. There we go. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna continue on with this. Fry these guys up. Okay, while these are frying up, I'm gonna go ahead and put my buns into the oven. I'm gonna have it set on broiler for low, so need to keep an eye on those. So I was just wondering, would you like to go out on a date one time? Yeah. Dinner, cocktail. I'm just gonna add some butter on here. Spray butter, just to help them toast up. And into the oven they go. Bye bye, see you in a moment. Oh, look at these beauties. And what I want to do is just add some salt to these. Right out of the fryer. You always have to have the crispy. Mm. Okay, one more for the road. Oh, that's so good. Nailed it. Ah, oh, done perfectly. Here we go. Let's assemble this. 
So we got the pretzel buns here, and then we have the regular ones. So we're gonna start with the original grouper sandwich. So we're gonna take some lettuce, put it right on there. We're gonna do a slice of tomato, piece of fish, and you have to do cheddar cheese. And then on top of this, a little tartar sauce, and we got that done, and we got that done. And we're gonna add some toothpicks just to keep them held together. Okay, we've got the original. Now we are going to do the Reuben. So onto the Reuben, we're gonna add Swiss cheese on the bottom. We're gonna do some sauerkraut on top of the cheese. We have the grouper. And then to this, we're gonna do Thousand Island and another slice of cheese. And to this, we wanna add a toothpick again. And there we go. And now for the last one, we are going to do the buffalo style. Put some lettuce down on that, on the bottom. We've got some tomato. And then on the top one, we're just gonna add some blue cheese dressing. Then we're gonna dip this right in, some hot sauce, hot sauce and butter. Spin that around a little bit. And now we're gonna add this right on here. And we're gonna throw the next one in. Give that a nice little toss. Ooh, I smell that tang. Yeah, and then we're gonna add that right there. And we're gonna stab those. Bam. Boom. Okay, now let's plate this. So we got the original. We're gonna go with the Reuben and then the Buffalo. And there you have it, Grouper Trio. Manja, enjoy. Andiamo.